in this video i'm going to discuss about the difference between a store processor and function in microsoft sql server management studio the first point is processor may or may not return value but if you are using functions so it must return value so let's see by add here example so this is the about to uh, syntax of a function so see add here there is the one return term so this return term is sensor in function but if you are going down so this is the example of a store processor so here you cannot find add here any return term so return term is the essential in function but not essential in a store processor so you if you want then here you can use so see at here there is no any return time and the next is a store procedure with parameter so here oh this is uh, there is no any return time so if you execute so it will work so see at here it works so there are no any return time inside a store procedure so at here we can use output parameter in a store processor and here you also know for uh, cannot find any return time so that means so uh, at here function must return or uh, must return value but at here processor may or may not so if you want then here you can use a uh, return time value here so it's not essential So a stored processor return only integer. So when a stored processor returns, so it only return integer value. So here is the example. So here I used to return exits. So it only return integer value. So this is the first difference between function and a stored processor. And the next example is we can call a stored processor by using exec or execute command. So in one video, I explained about how to execute a store processor, and here in function we have to use select command. So here this is the example of a, a function. So see at here this is the example of function. Now let's go down. So at here I created the function. The name is one underscore emp so to execute we need to use select statement so see at here after that it's a displaying the output now for a uh, store procedure so we need to use use exec so to call uh, either we can use only a store procedure name or you, we can use exe execute so cannot find so let's create the store procedure Procedure is created now to create this procedure. We have to execute or you can use exec or simply you can give a uh, procedure name. So, this is the second difference. Now, here after procedure can have input and output parameter. So, we can use input and output parameter in uh, a store procedure. So, add here there is the uh, so see at here there is one example so this is the store procedure so uh, there are no any parameter inside there first example no any parameter now a uh, function with output parameter so at here see output parameter out output keyword and here if you don't give anything so by default it understand input parameter so that uh, at here processor can have input and output parameter and function can have input parameter only so function have only input parameter so there is a one uh, syntax create function so here this is the syntax return and here you can only uh, use input parameter so see at here first name last name so there is i didn't use any output keyword add here so that means function accept only input parameter so here you can use only select a statement of using function so see add here 
uh, we are giving select uh, these values as an input. So this is the record here. So this input record we are passing or uh, at here uh, in the function one underscore emp. So after creating the function, we can retrieve this input values by ex by executing by writing this query select start from one underscore emp. So this is the record itself displaying. So function only we can use input parameter. Now the next example is a uh, procedure allows insert, update, delete, and select a statement. So procedure is allowed insert, update, and delete a statement. So so there is a one example. So at your kit procedure debut term. So at here you can use insert. So uh, at your insert update here yeah, you can get. So in my next video I will explain about to uh, procedure uh, how to update insert delete or uh, records by using a stored procedure. So simply just to keep in mind these things. So creating the stored procedure here we can use insert a statement update a statement here yeah, whatever we can use. But at your function allow only select a statement. So there's the one. Let's go on. So at here going to or uh, use insert. So select there are no any problem. So if I'm going to enter insert, so see at here getting a uh, incorrect syntax near insert. So it's uh, directly get, getting the error message of uh, incorrect syntax. And here uh, or you can not use any update here also. So you can only use at here. Uh, and here I am also getting a uh, select ex uh, expecting conversion. So let's give add here update. Update for update. So add here update. So incorrect syntax like this expecting conversion. So we cannot use update to delete inside a function. So this thing that we cannot do. So select, suppose if I'm going to enter at here, insert into EMP. Okay, so at here, incorrect syntax. So at here, use uh, see the masses. So it uh, ex, uh, expecting select or with. So you, we can use at here, select or with, with the function. So if I give at here, with. So let's use at here, with. So this time not getting error masses. Now let's remove. So there are no any error masses. Okay. So that means the uh, function can accept only select or with. And we cannot enter at here delete also. So directly our syntax error getting syntax uh, at here incorrect syntax near delete. Extracting select or with you can use by using add here function but uh, in a stored procedure so add here we can use only so but in a stored procedure we can use insert update and select a statement we can use so we can use add here so this is the example to get a stored procedure we can use insert a statement as a stored procedure can call the function and here a stored procedure cannot be called from a function. So function cannot call. So at here a function cannot be used to used to call exec. So to call the function we have to use select command. So here we cannot apply exec or execute a statement. And without this statement we cannot proceed to a stored procedure. So without this, we cannot to proceed, uh, proceed the a stored procedure. So that a stored procedure can call the function and a stored procedure function cannot call a stored procedure. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video, it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.